Hi everybody and welcome to Travelling with Russell and welcome to a new video. Welcome to Moscow. Now today I thought I'd take you for a bit of a walk around my local shopping centre. Today is the last day of 2023 and this is the last shopping day before the new year and I thought I'd just go and check it out, see what it feels like. Are people spending money in Russia? People buying food? I think we'll go for a bit of a walk around the supermarket as well and just see what it feels like in this current time here in Moscow. Let's go. Unfortunately, Father Christmas isn't here, or in Russia, he's known as Diet Moroz. He has been here, and he probably is on a break now. Everybody's taking a photo in front of the very big Christmas tree here in the shopping center. Now, I have made other videos in this place before, so it's perhaps not a new video for some people, but if you're new to the channel, this is a shopping center called Solaris shopping center. It's in the southwest of Moscow. It's around about a 30 minute drive to the center of Moscow from here. And this is actually a very big shopping center. In Moscow generally, there's around about 50 shopping malls that are about this size or bigger. And, you know, coming today on the last day of the year, it's just interesting to see people shopping. In Russia, people don't traditionally celebrate Christmas on the 24th or 25th of December. Most people start celebrating as of today, which is New Year's Eve into the next year. And then on the 6th and 7th of January. So a lot of people who are buying presents now are buying them to give as gifts today or tomorrow or on the 6th and 7th of January. Just thought this was quite interesting as I'm walking around here. This is Dye Shop. Now, of course, we probably know this very well as Dyson, and I'm sure a lot of people recognize the vacuums and the different hair dryers and things like that. But these guys left Russia a little while ago, and all of these stands disappeared. And then about a week ago, this one turned up at my local shopping center, and it's now called Dye Shop. I think it's pretty well documented about Zara leaving Russia, and the store is now called mag and when you walk inside it is exactly the same store the same feel and the same look of all the clothing as well and hopefully in this video we'll see plenty of shoppers and you know hopefully a lot of people get the idea that people in russia do come shopping do come and spend money and especially now during the holiday time a lot of people are buying gifts for people. There's a little secondary Christmas tree set up here. There's also a pop-up clothing store in the middle. This center of the shopping center changes about every six months. And I'm always curious what's come and what's left. There is a pop-up coffee store here. Not too many people using it. And the one on this other side here is always crowded. So if anybody can tell me about surf coffee or how there's such a buzz around it and so many people here buying coffee is it that good a coffee or are people wishing that they were at the beach and going surfing they've also set up another little pop-up shopping area here with lots of different holiday items lots of bags and boxes to put gifts in of course, the dragon, I think, is the symbol of the new year. So there's lots of dragon-related items. These really nice snow globes. And then some clothing, jewelry, lots of just small items and things that will be maybe unique and not something that's at the mainstream shops in the shopping center here. It's very nice, all the different items. Get yourself a cheese board or a chopping board. More dragons. Dragons everywhere for the new year. Lots of nice jewelry. Also being winter time as well, they've got the mittens and scarves and hats out. Lots of different choices. Lositan is still in Russia. The only difference is the 
sign on the door is in Russian Cyrillic now. And all the items inside are the same. They've got the gift wrap station over there. And there's really no difference to how it was two years ago to now. Now, if I was to walk around the whole shopping center, it would be a, a separate video in itself. What I really want to go and show you is the supermarket and hopefully how busy it is. It'll pop up jewelry store right here. And then as we walk on a little bit further here, you can see the Apple store on the left hand side. And they don't seem to have any advertisement for the iPhone 15. But they definitely have it for sale in there. I have made another video separately about that if you're curious about Apple products in Russia. And there's a vape shop here. I was just reading about the laws in Australia are going to change as of tomorrow and the government wants to completely ban vapes in Russia. But you can definitely buy them right in the center of the shopping center. Now we can see a bit of the crowds and people coming inside here. This is kind of the opposite entrance of the shopping center that I'm walking along now. So for most people, this would be the last shopping opportunity to buy gifts for the new year and to give presents today or tomorrow or a few days later into January. So there's definitely a sense of urgency about everybody here in the shopping center. It's actually a two level shopping center. And just as an interesting note, this particular shopping center is larger than the largest shopping center in Australia by square meter size. One of the jewelry stores here, very popular place. You can see plenty of people shopping and buying gifts and the kiss and hug section after the people have done shopping. Lots of people looking for presents and then the actual undercover parking here. So this is where everyone would come from underneath the shopping center. And then the entire shopping center has an undercroft parking. So there is a lot of people here today. And then off in the far distance would be the back entrance of the shopping center, I guess you can call it. And then all of the other renamed stores here. The one on the left here, RE, used to be called Reserved. Now it's called RE. And again, lots of people. The uh, main reason a lot of people are walking towards me and I'm walking against them is this is also the entrance from the metro here. The Moscow metro runs directly underneath the shopping center. So a lot of people will be just entering the shopping center at this point. And then generally people on this right hand side here would be leaving and going back onto trains and buses. Lots of people around. I'm very curious for everybody who's watching this, where you are in the world, when do you celebrate Christmas or the holidays like right now? Do you give gifts on Christmas Eve, which will be the 24th of December, maybe Christmas Day on the 25th? Or do you save them for New Year like right now, today and tomorrow? And then maybe some people, depending on the country or region you're in, maybe you give them on the 6th of January. I thought I'd head on upstairs and have a look at some of the clothing stores and see how it is up there. Let's go on upstairs. A little bit quieter up here as well, so it's a little bit easier to walk around. I wanted to come and have a look at this store right in front of me here. This was actually where the Adidas store was and it was closed for probably a year and a half and it's now reopened as City Sports. And what's interesting is they've still got the brands here on the signage and even on the uh, security uh, stands on the way in and all the different uh, shoe brands and clothing brands and then in the back there we can see Puma and different brands there is kind of a mixed lot of clothing in here so a lot of the shoe stores where they've let's say left Russia a lot of them have reopened as multi-brand clothing stores. So you'll see here a lot of the Adidas stuff off in the distance. And then 
some of the other mixed brands over here. But plenty of clothing available, plenty of shoes available, where the Adidas store used to be. This is the normal entrance that I usually walk in on the lower floor here. And off in the distance is a bus station. It's a little bit hard to see through the windows. So I can catch a bus from here about 20 minutes and I'd be at my house. So this is my closest main shopping center that I would come to. Uh, there is a smaller shopping center in my town, but it really doesn't have the amount of stores as this place does. Uh, right in front of us here is actually a bed shop. And in the shopping centers in Russia, it's very normal to have furniture stores in the shopping center. So it's not just about the traditional clothing and shoes and you know all of those normal shops that you'd be used to. It's a good mix of things. There's a kid's play center just off in the distance there with trampolines. There's also a kid's hairdressers right there. And then downstairs, lots more stores. They also have two food courts in this shopping center. Uh, this is the one that my wife and I like to come to, which is a food market. And it has mostly foods from all different countries of the world and uh, not your traditional fast food brands. And it does seem quite uh, empty today, but I think a lot of people are saving for themselves for tonight, for the New Year feast that we're all gonna be having at our homes or at a friend's house or somewhere like that. And then I just thought we'd have a look very quickly at the gym and all the people that come to the gym here at the shopping center. It's a little bit hard to see through the window. I don't wonder if people have made New Year's resolutions to uh, get fit for the coming year. There's a few people in there, all on the steppers and bikes. And this is actually a new thing as well for the shopping center. They built this play center right here with sand like you're at the beach. How nice is this? And the mums are playing with the kids there in the sand. This is the part I'm most interested in to see how busy the supermarket is and how many people are here shopping on the last day of the year here in Moscow and how many people are doing their last minute shopping. Now a lot of people really should have been shopping a couple of days earlier to get all their food in and start cooking for tonight. A lot of people will have a midnight feast and traditionally you prepare a, a Christmas table or a New Year table and have it tonight uh, about 11 p.m. and into 12 a.m. And it looks like almost all of the checkouts are operating. Now I want to walk in the opposite end a little bit further down. Now the particular place we're at here is called Globus Hypermarket. Now Globus is actually a German supermarket chain or hypermarket chain that are here in Russia. They're actually in a lot of bigger shopping centers like this. And they're very, very popular because you can walk in and buy absolutely everything in one store. Now, it's very rare that I would come here and all the registers are operating and being probably their busiest day of the year. They've got all hands on deck ready to take everybody's money and let's go and see what it's like inside if you're interested in what the exchange rate is today so for one us dollar it's right about 90 rubles and then for one euro it's almost a hundred rubles now we won't really be doing too much price comparing in this video i really just want to feel what the mood is like inside and what's for sale and what everybody's buying and shopping for and just how busy it is before i head on inside i just thought i'd point out one thing that i've talked about a few times on videos and i thought it might be worthwhile talking about it today because we'll see a lot of these inside a lot of people prefer these smaller hand baskets or trucks which are much easier to shop for smaller quantities of things and of course if you're kind of going home by train or bus from here you're not going to be carrying bags upon bags 
and then the normal shopping trolleys on this side and here at this shopping center and at Globus there's actually a payment system for them now a lot of them are unlocked which is a bit of a bonus but 10 rubles and you get yourself a trolley and then you return it and get your money back so this one for free take it for free for free come on oh no he paid it's okay okay that was a little bit funny there about the trolleys but uh, you'll see everybody just walking in and grabbing the baskets and putting them away and moving on inside now i am going to walk around here as slowly as i can so that you can get a good idea of the store and what's available now if you do really want to compare prices wherever you see a hundred rubles put that back to one dollar or one euro now if you're in australia it would be 60 rubles to a dollar and right in the front here they've got all the new year favorites the peas and corn for the salads they've also got sprats and they've got some martini prosecco and then some chocolates these are absolutely the quintessential russian items and then for everybody who hasn't made salads at home and haven't made their own salads have a look at the rush for salads right now now a lot of people aren't going to spend today now making them being that it's in the afternoon so people are buying them pre-made how hectic is it just for salads and i've only just walked inside <laughs> that's funny i come here a lot to this supermarket so i know it very well and how busy it would be on different days and a lot of people really do like the food here and that's pretty much testament to how busy the place is well they did actually have a bit of a temporary area set up in the front here with all the seasonal items so things like chocolates and drinks and snacks but it's sort of been torn apart to a point still a lot of stuff here now this is the main entrance where i walk in pretty much when i come to this hypermarket so we walk straight into the fruit and veg section and then there's also the prepared food here on the left and again a lot of people are buying this prepared food they can literally take it out the container put it right on the table tonight and it'll be ready so lots of salads hello. oh hello <laughs> lots of prepared salads thank you so much snow and got them <laughs> so lots of things like olives and mushrooms and food that's cooked and ready so there's no preparation and have a look at the line for this section wow now my wife did give me a short list of things to buy and, and i'm gonna have to figure that out at the end of the video because it's a little bit hectic that's the line to get to the salad section and the ones where you can buy them by weight uh, the ones that we saw earlier were all the pre-weighed ones so where you might want a different size container and then as we wrap around here is the refrigerated section with chicken and meats and then again how busy it is well the line is keeping on going everybody wants salad for the new year maybe everyone's on a health kick looks like the prepared food or the uncooked food here is not as popular it's going to take time to cook it for tonight and tomorrow so this is all the chicken items well that amount of people back there is just intense now i knew it was going to be busy but you'll see now as we walk around everybody's baskets and what everybody is buying and then the fruit and veg section probably the most popular is oranges or mandarins so you'll see a lot of these orange crates different types and from different places we'll just sort of walk in amongst everybody here hopefully i can do this as uncut as possible lots of oranges mandarins or tangerines a lot of people call them so there is lots to choose from pretty much out of season but there's watermelons they're very tiny at this time of year but you can get all fruits year round in russia it's just the price that you'd want it to pay in or out of season 
tomatoes are right there, cucumbers, very popular. And have a look at everybody in this fruit and veg section. Now this is what I really wanted to see, how many people are doing last minute shopping just before New Year's Eve. And then this is pretty much not a different store when you're in here on a normal day of the week, just much quieter. So walking through here, all the carrots, potatoes, onions, and lots and lots of people. And there seems to be, it really is a sense of urgency about everybody. Everybody wants to get their shopping done and wants to get home and start cooking and then eventually eating. I made my way out of the fruit and veg section. It was a little bit hectic and into the meat section and a lot of the sausages and hams are in this area and a lot of the meats as well are just ahead of us here. A very popular thing also for New Year. Slice them up, put them on a plate, and you're ready. There is so many choices of sausages in this store. Perhaps because it's a German store, it's just a tradition of German supermarkets to have a lot of different uh, meats and hams and salamis. And then we come around to the normal meat section here. Not as busy as what I thought. I think a lot of people are going for that prepared food. And we'll come over here to the aquarium. And here is the fisherman here doing his uh, fishing expedition. Hello. Hello. <laughs> oh, yes. How are you? Very well. Salmon and fish is also very, very popular for New Year in Russia. And lots of choices and lots of different types, either literally fresh fish what we saw or fish that are partially sleeping now and everybody coming to choose some different fish products Hi. <laughs> everybody's so happy today and friendly and I think you know there's a sort of certain mood to the place as I'm walking around and everybody's happy <laughs> wow and then all of the cured fish and smoked fish and dried fish which is very popular also not as many people in this area shopping but you can see now off in the distance all the people here and also there's a good amount more bigger shopping baskets versus the little hand trucks this is what I'd always get because I'm just going to catch the bus home from here so one or two shopping bags is as much as I need and then the bigger baskets, perhaps where people are driving home. As we come around to the rest of the refrigerated section and all of the hams and salamis. And this would be my mum's favorite section. I don't think I'd be able to get her out of here if I brought her to this supermarket because there is so many choices. And again, we can see Everybody waiting here. This is where you can actually get the meats by weight. So you can get them to slice a certain amount of uh, salami or meat into uh, little uh, trays. And everybody wants a certain brand from a certain manufacturer. And then we come over here now to cheeses. And uh, what seems like the never ending selection of cheeses. And the cool thing in this store is the cheeses have different flags on them. So if you're good with your geography, Swiss cheese, Russian cheese, I think I saw over here Argentinian cheese. There's one over here from Belarus. So there is a lot of choices of cheese. And there is no shortage of choices and stock to choose from. And if you want just the traditional packaged sliced cheese or blocks of cheese, there's also this middle section here where they've got extra fridges full of them. And they also like to pair them as well. So they've got different things in the same fridge. So there's good suggestions for the holidays. This very nice area here. You can see again, there's more cheese in the back there. And they put some wines in here as well. 
It's a wine and cheese pairing at its best. I do have one important question for everybody. Uh, when you come shopping, particularly at the holiday times like this, do you come with a shopping list? And do you stick to the shopping list of what you came in for? Or are you just walking around trying to come up with an idea for the holiday table? Let me know in the comments. Do you shop with a shopping list or not? As I'm walking over to the bakery and the bread section, they've got more champagnes and proseccos here. Looks like they've literally put a section of it in every part of the supermarket. And I have shown this in other videos, the bakery here in Globus. But they make a lot of their bread in the back of the store, right behind all these shelves. And again, you can see how hectic it is here in this bread section and all the people trying to find what they want. Now, most people here particularly want the fresh bread and these baskets that they're putting out now literally would have been baked in the last half an hour or an hour and people want the freshest bread. And we can see here in the back where they do all the baking and they're literally doing this around the clock at the moment. And as quick as they get it out of the oven, it goes right here onto the shelves and get yourself a bread stick or a bread loaf. The cake section is also another popular place, particularly now on the last day of the year and into the holidays. They make the cakes in the store here and there's a lot of them that are pre-made like this. So you just take them out of the packet, put it right on the table. Now you know it's a busy time of year when they've got the trolleys just laid out here with all the extras that aren't even making it to the fridge because it's so busy. Then everybody looking around now to see which one will be their favorite cake for New Year. Maybe something different or something they've had every year and maybe sticking to a family tradition. Come over here to some of the smaller individual cakes cupcakes and again they've got this overflow here of the cakes right here on these racks they don't normally have these out at all anytime I've ever been here but being New Year's Eve it's appropriate they've got them out now they're normally in the back here is where they're making all the cakes you can just see some of the bakers back there literally making them and putting them out as quick as possible and there's some small individual cakes here. If you just want one or two pieces. These are also very, very nice. So you can just get these little meringues like these. If you don't want a whole cake. And then just having a look at the bread section again. One more time. You'll see the lady here putting out the loaves and the bread sticks. And as quick as she's putting them out, people are grabbing them. And it's really just very interesting to see, you know, how much of a difference it is now and other days of the week when I come in this store. I am a little bit worried this video might go a little bit long. Generally, my videos are about 30, 35 minutes, but there's not too many cuts that I'm making during this. So I hope you enjoy this longer extended walk around here in Solara Shopping Center. And at the moment we're in Globus Hypermarket. So please enjoy the video as I'm walking around. Now it's probably a little bit hard to get an idea of how big the alcohol section is here in Globus, but I'll do my best to get this in one take. So there's beers over here, and there's a, another beer section on this next aisle on both sides there. And we come back into the traffic here, and their alcohol section wraps around here on the left hand side and they're literally bringing pallets out to the shop floor here to put out as quick as possible everybody wants a bottle of champagne or bubbles tonight to have at midnight and this is the normal drink section here with the water and sodas and again it doesn't look beautiful it's normal when I come in this store but it is what it is today it's busy as possible and let's see if we can get through here and then they've got a temporary area here on the right hand side which was set up just for the holidays this will run for about three months 
where they'll have this right hand section as it is. And then we're gonna run into a bit more traffic. But we'll get through. And then over here is the champagne section, which is all the year round just here in front of me. On top of the hundreds of sections of champagne that we've seen, there's some more. So everybody's trying to choose their favorite one. And you can see again, just pallets and pallets of the different uh, champagnes and bubbles. So there is a mixture of, uh, of French champagnes and then a lot of sparkling wine. I think they call a lot of the stuff that's uh, not from France. And these big giant bottles of Beluga here. Check these out. These are very juicy sized bottles. You can see the spirit section as well. And then all of the whiskies and cognacs. The rest of this pop-up section is a lot of gifts. So candies and things like soap and shampoos and things like that. So easy gifts to give to friends or family. And there's even a tea and coffee section here with different gift packaging. And then the rest of the alcohol here. These are all the ones that come in the gift boxes. So you'll get the alcohol and some glasses and all of the companies like to do these different branded packaging. They're very nice. These are the ones that we tend to buy and we want to give them as gifts to people as well. Beluga here, the very well-known Russian vodka. And then, what are we, two years since a lot of companies said that they'd left Russia. And we can walk in and buy Jack Daniels right there. William Lawson, Captain Morgan. So the brands that we are told have left Russia are more than available in a supermarket in Russia right now. You can see here also Doers, which is owned by Bacardi. So Bacardi said they're not supplying to Russia. And there's a very big Doers stand right there. And then more vodkas. Now it's not really as popular as everybody thinks. Not everybody drinks vodka just because you're in Russia. There's definitely a lot more people who are buying uh, brandies, cognacs, wines, champagnes. So there's definitely not the traditional people running in here for vodkas like we all think we should be. I will be covering this in another video very soon about the egg shortage in Russia and how you come to a store like this and there isn't even eggs for sale. It is literally empty and the only eggs they have are quail eggs, which I don't think people really want for the holidays. And I will be making a separate video where I'll go to a number of stores and talk about the shortage of eggs. And this whole fridge section right here would typically be eggs. The whole way down to about halfway where the person is in the fridge door off in the distance there. And this would all be eggs. And have a look, not a carton of eggs. There's just one broken box of eggs right there. And that's it. I think I'll walk back along this section where all the refrigerated items are just to show the amount of people that are in here and how busy it is. Now, do you normally shop the day before the new year or before Christmas? I'm very curious how many people are buying sushi for New Year. They've got four guys doing sushi literally as quick as possible right here, which is nice. I'm not sure how Russian traditional it is to have sushi, but a lot of people prefer the normal smoked fish and cured fish like you see. And everybody here so there is people with baskets. There's definitely people shopping with baskets. This shopping center has a good mix of people who come here by bus and train, which is how I would come to the shopping center. So I wouldn't shop for large amounts of things. And then we'll see everybody buying all the items, mostly what I pointed out during the walk around here. Perhaps you like different types of seaweed salads, 
There's some salmon steaks. And then again, all the fish here off in the distance. This is maybe interesting as well. This is one of the most famous Russian foods that you would have over New Year. It would be caviar. And have a look at the fridge. It's absolutely empty. That's amazing. And the only ones that are left are the little bit more expensive ones. But how would you be that the caviar fridge is empty? As I walk around just a little bit more, I just thought I'd just mention about uh, my shopping and my wife shopping for New Year. Now, where I live in Moscow region, we have seven supermarkets within a 10 minute walk of our house. So I don't need to come to a large hypermarket like this necessarily to come shopping. And especially on a day like today, I would come and then there's no eggs, there's no caviar, there is just chaos in the fruit and veg section when I can walk a few minutes to numerous supermarkets in my area. So it's just interesting the different dynamic, perhaps where you live in the world, you know, do you have just a normal traditional supermarket like this? Or do you have smaller little individual stores close to home, which is very popular here in Russia? This is probably a good depiction of Russian shoppers and the difference between everybody living in the West, let's call it, and everybody living in Russia. There is not a person in the frozen section at all. And everybody wants the fresh food, the prepared food, and all of the, let's say normal food if you want to compare it. And there isn't anybody looking in this frozen section at all. Another interesting thing in Russia is bananas. Now, I have talked about this numerous times in different videos and you can see there's really not a shortage of bananas there's an entire pallet waiting to get put out after this section goes a little bit emptier here and all of the bananas that you see in Russia come from Ecuador or Central South America and the one thing that's a way to judge the pricing in Russia is the price of bananas and it almost follows the ruble up and down as it changes. Now at the moment, 140 rubles for a kilo. It's probably a little bit high right now. Generally, the bananas would be around about 100 rubles or less. So they are a little bit high compared to uh, other parts of the year. But there is a lot of them. And they literally come from Ecuador by the pallet load here into Russia. As I try to find the exit of the supermarket now, I thought I'd come one more time to have a look at this prepared food section and how busy it is and everybody buying some different types of prepared food. They've also got uh, chicken here and meat and potatoes which are already cooked and literally just put them on the table. And then all of the salad section here and the prepared salads. So if you might want Olivia salad probably the most famous in Russia. You can see all the ladies back there even helping everybody and just how busy it is. Everybody wants salad and these are just staple items on the New Year table in Russia and it's like there's no more food left for us to buy the amount of people that are here and it's just so interesting to see the dynamic and the sense of urgency of buying all of the prepared foods and literally as quick as they are making them they do all of these in store by the way so they've got kitchens back here off in the distance where they make them in store and then they're literally just putting them out as quick as they can get packaged up so i managed to make it out of the supermarket alive now what i'm actually going to do is i'm going to pack up the camera as this being the end of the video and go back in there and grab the things I need to do because it's too hard with the camera to do shopping, <laughs> talking and choosing at the same time. Thanks everybody for watching this video on New Year's Eve here in Moscow, the last day of 2023. I hope you found this video interesting just to see how many shoppers were here in the shopping center and then in Globus in the supermarket. It was busy. Now I've been living here a lot of years 
And I know specifically these days leading up to New Year are always the busiest. So just to see the amount of shoppers and, and people buying things. It's okay working in supermarkets like I've been doing for a lot of years, but then coming in as a shopper, it's like a different feeling. And it's like you're, you know, you're fighting against everybody to find the thing that you want. So I managed to get out just in time. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think. I did ask a few questions through the video. Post them in the comments. Perhaps, is it similar to where you've shopped right now at this time of year? Is it quieter? Is it more busier? Let me know. If you want to follow me on Telegram, I've got a Telegram channel. That link will come up right now. If you want to watch an older video on the channel, that'll come up right now. Also, perhaps you want to watch something that you haven't seen on the channel before, and you can watch that right away after this. Thanks everybody, have a good New Year's Eve, and I'll see you next year. Bye.